All right, so got some new products here from Olight. We got a uh, bicycle light here, and this is a bicycle brake light. And this, uh, the bicycle light is the Olight uh, RN2000. And then the brake light's called the BS100 Smart Tail Light. And then uh, the third one they sent was this tiny flashlight. Uh, it's called the Center. And pretty tiny here. Uh, so we'll talk about that one last. Uh, let's talk about the light first. So of course you get the light itself. Here's the port that covers the USB port here. It's USB-C, charges by USB-C. Also, this can act as a power bank and charge smartphones via that USB-C, so it does reverse charging as well. This is your mount attachment here on the bottom. Uh, this is like made of, I don't know, some kind of aluminum. Pretty solid the material and nice powder coated finish. It's a nice looking light. Obviously it goes on your handlebar. You see we have two LEDs here in the front, super bright. So we have a few different mounting options. You have this uh, sort of handlebar mount here, kind of a standard. And then the light will just kind of goes in, goes in like this and then you rotate it to lock it into place. And this is the GoPro style mount. Also comes with a remote control with this little Velcro strap goes in here and then obviously goes on your handlebar so obviously uh, this is going to be more kind of towards the uh, the grip so that you can just kind of use it as a thumb control to turn the light on and off and it does come well, uh, you know obviously there's a little tiny battery in here like one's little watch battery so you got to pull this little cover off and then you have to pull this little plastic insulator out it uses a CR2032 3 volt battery and then they also include a USB-C cable for charging so the light comes like locked from the factory, I guess, to, to preserve the battery. So you have to turn it on or press the power button for three seconds to unlock it and I'll turn it on. Uh, you have also uh, buttons on the bottom and on top here for adjusting the brightness. So I already unlock it, so I'll just go ahead and turn on the light. So I, I turned the exposure down on the camera here so you can see that there's one LED on light right now. And this is hybrid mode, I believe. And then there's flood mode where both LEDs are going to be on. And I guess to switch modes, you just uh, double click the center button. And you can see now we have two. All right, so back to hybrid mode and we're on the low setting here. Hit the up button, middle setting here, medium. And then this is the high setting. We'll go back down to the low setting. And then we'll go into the flood mode. Double click there. So it gets a little bit brighter. So you have both on. And go to the middle setting here. And this is the high setting. So very, very bright. Okay, so with the light on, you can now pair the remote control. You have to press both buttons at the same time. All right, so once you're paired, you can control the brightness with the circle button. And we'll start off in low. Press the button, it goes to medium. And it goes to high, and then you press it again. It goes back to the low, cycles in that way. So we're currently in the hybrid mode. To change it to flood mode, you double click the circle button. So now we have both LEDs on. And then there's something called flash mode, which you double click the square button. So basically just flashes the the, the lights like it's super bright and just press the circle button to stop that. So to, to go to full output mode, which is 2000 lumens, you just press the uh, square button. And that is the maximum brightness. And then to get out of the maximum brightness mode, just press any button. And it goes back to where it was. Okay, so now we'll take a look at the uh, BS100 tail light. Kind of small here. It's pretty bright, I've seen this already. Little power button over here to control it. Uh, this is the mounting mechanism here, similar to the headlight. And then there's a little cover here, rubber cover, uh, USB-C for charging. A couple of mount options available. Uh, you have the seat post mount like this. And again, the light goes in like so, and then you twist to lock it. And then the other mount is a saddle mount. So it looks like this, so it hangs off of the underside of the saddle. And of course you get a USB-C cable for charging and a couple of zip ties. All right, so I'm going to just show you the instructions in here. There's a few different modes. Uh, there's an accelerometer sensor in this. So basically, even though it's not connected to your brakes on your bike, if it senses an acceleration or deceleration, it will light up, uh, I guess it'll brighten up the brake light. 
And then there's a vibration sensing function as well. I'll try and show this in some clips on actual bicycle. So you just press and hold the on off button to turn it on. Yeah, it's pretty bright actually. And I believe the acceleration function is on by default. So let me, let me see if I can, I don't know if you can see that or not on camera. Basically, I'm, as I'm moving this around quickly, it, it gets brighter and dimmer, sort of acting like a pseudo brake. So I'll just try and show you a clip here of what it looks like on an actual bike. So when the light's on, you just use the power button to cycle through the different modes. So there's low, there's high, flash, and then group ride, and eco smart. And to turn it off, you just long press the on off button. And then uh, when you turn on off the light, it remembers whatever last function you're on. So if you're on like a, in a certain mode that you like, so for example, group ride, it'll stay on that the next time you turn the light back on. All right, and last but not least is this uh, tiny little flashlight. Comes with a USB-C cable for charging. And yeah, this thing's super tiny. It has two modes basically, it's, or three modes actually. It's, you've got off, low and high. And in terms of brightness, low is five lumens, high is 180 lumens, and this shows you the power on time for each, 12 hours or 23 minutes. To charge it, you have to unscrew this and then that will reveal the USB-C port there. And you can see it's got a little bit of an O-ring there with some silicone grease. I think this is waterproof. That's why that is protected. And to operate it, uh, just twist it so it's off here. Twist it a little bit here and then we get the five lumens rating. So it's not super bright. In dark conditions, this will be pretty actually pretty usable. And then if you want to go to 180 lumens, just keep twisting. And eventually you'll get 180 lumens, which is way over exposing the camera here. So it's a pretty cool little light. Yes, yeah, something I'll probably take when I go traveling and stuff. Anyway, it's going to do it for this video. Links down in the video description if you want to check out these products from Olight. If you enjoyed the video, please give the video a thumbs up. That really helps out the channel. That'll do it for this one. Talk to you guys in the next video.